I don't know about you, but I've been feeling all over the place recently. I've been finding it really tricky to be in this world when I feel like I have so much privilege and yet still daily life can feel incredibly difficult. I've been trying to consciously not let myself get overwhelmed by watching the news, but also walking that fine balance between not being completely ignorant. So I take some time to learn what's happening. I've been trying to do my bit and then dealing with those difficult emotions around it's still not enough. So I thought I would create a practice today where we could just sit and breathe and move together in our collective feeling of unrest and confusion and sadness and all the emotions that might be coming up for you at the moment because I think it's important to honor our own privilege and not necessarily to feel bad about it because I don't think that helps anyone. It doesn't help anyone on the other side of the world if you continue to feel bad about your own privilege but maybe if you look after yourself really well at this time you'll be able to use that privilege to donate money or to send a letter or to go to a protest or to share on your platform what's going on. So I'd like to invite you to practice with me today. You don't need any props for this practice. You can be a beginner, you can be advanced, it really doesn't matter. Let's just sit and move and breathe together. Let's start today just by taking a seat. So I'm kneeling, but you can be sitting on your bottom or up on a bolster or block if that feels better in your body. And I just want you to arrive here in your practice, in your body, on your mat, in the space that you're in. We take a few deep breaths together and really just find ourselves here. So you might like to close down the eyes. I want you to take some deep breaths in and notice the belly expanding, the side ribs, the back ribs, the whole chest expanding on the inhale and contracting on the exhale. Let's make this a little bit bigger now as you inhale, rise the arms up tall, stretch the body long. And as you exhale, slowly lower back down. So today's practice isn't gonna be complicated. As you inhale, rise up. I think sometimes when we're in a state of emotional turmoil, we can look for all the answers everywhere else. And often the answer to dealing with the emotions, dealing with the stress is often quite simple. We just need to be with the emotions and allow them to be in our body. Inhale, rising up. So I just want you to be present and aware to whatever is going on in your body, in your emotional body today. One more inhale, rise up. This time stay up as you exhale the arms down. Bring the hands on the hips. I want you to take one leg out long. The outer blade of the foot is gonna press into the floor. And then we're just gonna gently reach the other hands down towards the ground. So engaging the core through the side and then inhale, reaching the arm up and over. Bring a beautiful long line through the side body. This time as you breathe in, see if you can imagine these side ribs growing big with the breath and softening on the exhale. Let's add some movement now, engaging through the side body to lift all the way up, inhaling up and over. And then exhaling, coming down in the opposite direction. Good. Inhale up and over. And exhale. One more of these, inhale. Take your time feeling the stretch on this side. And then exhale, this time bring the hand all the way down. I want you to ground the palm into the earth and feel stable in this bottom leg. As you inhale, we're gonna lift that top leg up. I just want you to press through the sole of the feet, feel some heat and strength in your body. Maybe bring a hand to heart. Remind yourself that you are strong. Breathing here. One more breath. 
Good, bring the foot back down, coming all the way back up. Both hands to heart as you bring the foot back in. Inhale to sky. Exhale, take a seat down. Lots of breath work today, breathing out, breathing in those emotions, noticing them, giving them space, giving them the time that they're asking for. Good, let's go on and take the opposite leg out now, pressing down into the outer blade of that foot, and then just gently reaching those fingertips down. Inhale the arm up and over, making one long line here, taking a few breaths, feeling into those side ribs. Really just sitting with this practice of allowing that every emotion is okay. Sometimes we get so caught up, coming into the movement now, so caught up in justifying to ourselves the story around the emotion, while we shouldn't feel this way, while we're so privileged and shouldn't feel this way. But what if the emotion just needs to exist? What if it doesn't have to make sense? So for me at the moment, I've been feeling so tired and drained and like I have nothing else to give. And I could go into the story around why my life is so privileged and why I have it so good and why I don't have a reason to be tired. Or I could also go into the story of why there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment in the world and I'm feeling all that and that's why I'm feeling tired reach the arm up and over. We're going to engage and lift that top leg now. Bring the hand to heart if that feels good. Feel the strength and power in your leg. I could go into the story. I could get lost in the story, deciding which one I think is right and which one I'm going to give my attention to. Or I could just let that feeling be. I can just lean into it, allow myself to feel it and be okay with it and not go into the guilt, not go into the added suffering of overthinking on top of that. Exhale, bring the leg down. Come all the way back up, hands to heart. Bring the leg back in, breathe it in. Breathe it out, take a seat. Good, come on over into our tabletop. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Let's just take a little rock from side to side. Again, noticing being in the body. And then I want you to take a seat back towards the heels. I like to take the knees nice and wide in my child's pose. You can have knees together if that feels better. Rest the forehead down, stretch the arms out in front. If the head doesn't comfortably hit the mat, you can take two fists on top of each other and rest the forehead. Makes it a little bit more comfortable. And just breathe here. Let your body feel heavy in this position, the hips sinking, the belly soft, face and neck relaxed. Good, when you're ready, release the hands. Coming back up into tabletop, knees back underneath the hips and step the left foot forward. And let's just rock forward and back for a few breaths, just easing into our legs this morning. And then if you're feeling strong, you can pick up the back knee. If you're feeling like you need a more gentle practice today, Leave it on the ground, that's perfectly fine. Right hand stays grounded, inhale the left arm to sky. And exhale, I want you to wrap it around that front leg, give it a big squeeze. Inhale, take it to sky. So if you're doing this on the back knee, it looks nearly almost the same. I want you to move with your own breath rhythm, so don't feel like you have to keep up with me. See if you can lengthen out each breath. Keep pressing firmly through that back heel. One more here. 
Good. Exhale, release the hand down, bring that back knee down. I want you to bring the weight into that back knee as you lift the toes of the front foot, lift the chest, find some length through the spine. You should feel a nice stretch through the hamstring here. If you can go a little deeper, you might like to fold over, but you don't have to. You can stay upright if that feels good. Just breathing into the body. Good, next breath. Ground the hands back at the front as you step that front knee back. Let's give a little wiggle here, reset through the hips, through the shoulders. And then step the opposite foot through. Again, let's work into the hips on this side first, rocking forwards and back. And then if you like, picking up that back knee, finding a strong foundation in your legs, ground the left hand, inhale the right arm to the sky. As you exhale, lower the hand down, wrap and squeeze the leg. And then we repeat, moving with your own breath. Last one here, inhale. And exhale, bring the hand down, bring that back knee down and lift the weight into that back knee as you lift the toes of the front foot. Big breath into the chest. Maybe staying here, maybe forward folding. Just honoring where you're at, bringing the hands forward, stepping that back knee back, come into tabletop, little rock from side to side. Good, tuck the toes. We're gonna walk our way back to our malasana. So coming into a low squat at the back of the mat. Feel free to wiggle the knees as wide as you need them. You might find the heels touch, they may not. Either way, it's okay. And then we're gonna bring the elbows inside the knees, gently squeeze the knees onto the elbows and lift through the heart. You might like to close down the eyes here. Connecting in with the heart, with the core, noticing any sensations in the belly perhaps in the womb, in our root chakra, pelvic floor, just noticing your body, allowing any sensations, any emotions, reminding yourself that it's all okay. All of these feelings, all of these conflicting feelings can coexist at the same time. Good, bring the hands back down. We're gonna shoot forward into our plank by walking the hands forward. It's up to you whether you bring the knees down to support. So if you're pregnant, if you're on your period, if you're early postpartum, if you've got any injuries, you might wanna bring the knees down to make it a little bit more gentle today. So I want you to push into the legs as you slowly walk forward. This is where the knees will come down if you like. If you're feeling like you want a strong practice today, you need to build a little bit of fire, then just stay here. And then we're gonna bend into the knees, pressing into the hands. So if you're on the knees, just step them back a touch. Or you might like to lift them off for just this moment and then inhale, shoot forward to your plank. Good, take a breath. And then send it back, press into the hands. If you're on the knees, you might lift them for a moment here, build a little fire and then shoot it forward. Take a breath, remind yourself that you're strong, you can do this, you can be with whatever sensations, whatever emotions are coming up for you right now. And then exhale, send it back. Good, let's walk the hands back so we can turn this into a down dog. 
bend into the knees, take the feet to hip distance, let the head and neck relax. Perhaps breathing out the mouth if you need to invite some cooling into the body. And then keep walking the hands all the way back. Let's find our forward fold. So bend generously into the knees, find the elbows and ragdoll that upper body around. Swing it out from side to side. As you inhale, bring hands to shins, halfway lift, straighten the back, straighten the legs, and then exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Walk the hands back out to our down dog. Keep the stance nice and shallow, so not quite as wide as your regular dog. I want you to reach the right hand across to the left leg, wherever you can reach, and gently look up through the left armpit. Breathing here. Good, release the hand. Left arm reaches over to the right ankle or the right shin or knee, wherever you can reach. Gently looking up through the right armpit and just breathing here. Gently release the left hand down. Bring both knees down to the mat and come on up into a high kneel. Bring the hands onto the low back. You might walk the knees in towards each other now, squeezing the inner thighs gently. So with the hands on the low back, I want you to gently engage through the thighs, through the core, and then lift the chest. If this feels good, you can let the head and neck gently rest behind you. And as you exhale, bring the bottom down, bring the head down. Again, you might want to make the knees a little wider to make space for the belly. Reach the arms out in front. Lift the head up as we walk the hands over to the left side and then soften down, getting a beautiful stretch through the right side of the body. Let the head be heavy. And then inhale, walk the hands all the way to the opposite side, left hand on top of right. Let the head be heavy. And inhale, walk the hands forward, lift up onto the knees as we come into our puppy pose. So the knees are underneath the hips and we melt the chest or the chin down to the mat. If you need to, the forehead can rest on the floor and just breathe here, noticing the sensations across the upper and mid back. Your next breath, slowly walk the hands back. We're gonna come into our pigeon pose. So left knee behind left wrist. The foot can either tuck into the groin or you can bring it up more towards parallel depending on how open your hips are. Stretch the right leg out behind you. If your hips are quite tight, you might need a bolster or some cushions underneath this hip just to lift them up a little bit higher. Let's take a breath in, find some length. See if you can let your hips become heavy and open here. So this is where, if this is feeling really intense, you need some props under this side. 
There's not so much opening that you're asking the body to do. If this feels good and you'd like to come down, you can lower down onto the forearms. Again, making those two fists to rest the head or stretching the body out entirely. Next breath, slowly coming up, drawing that back leg in as you step the front knee back, coming to your tabletop for a breath here as we inhale, lift the tail, lift the head. As you exhale, round through the spine, look towards the thighs. And return to tabletop. We're going to bring that right knee forward behind right wrist. Left leg stretches out behind us. Remember, any props that you need, bring them underneath this right hip. Let's find some length, lifting up through the spine. And then either staying here or coming lower. Resting the weight of the upper body down. Next breath, slowly coming up. This time that back leg is going to come all the way around. We're going to come all the way down onto our back now. So either using the hands to support you or gently rolling down. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rock from side to side. And then either bringing the soles of the feet out and letting the knees knock in or soles of the feet in towards each other, knees roll out, or legs outstretched. Let the arms rest so the palms face to the sky. And let ourselves rest so that we may feel restored and able to give again. We take this time to rest, to look after ourselves, and to know that looking after our emotional and spiritual body is as equally as important as our physical body. Let yourself breathe deep. Let yourself listen to the wisdom of your body, of your heart in the space of stillness.
start to deepen your breathing. Maybe blinking the eyes open. And then taking some small movements that feel good in your body. Rolling to one side when you're ready. And then coming up to have a seat. Let's bring the hands to heart. Taking a moment here for a personal prayer. Sending that prayer, your wish, your love for the collective out into the world. And also taking a moment to reflect on your own privilege and also your own limits. Taking a moment to think of how you can next best serve the collective what you can do, not letting yourself feel guilty or bad for what you can't, but just focusing on what you can. It might be donating a couple of dollars. It might be writing a letter. You might be going to a protest. It might just simply be sharing what's going on in the world. Just take a moment to reflect on what you are able to do. Don't underestimate how the small thing that you can do can contribute to a larger movement. And also don't underestimate the importance of looking after you in the process. Thank you for sharing this practice with me today. Namaste.